I think Bernie gets the long distance award. And this is kind of like the before and after scenario here. This car was campaigned by Bob Beatty Sr. and Bob Beatty Jr., who unfortunately both are no longer with us. Uh, quite a pair of characters in their own right. They did a lot of racing with this injected uh, early Chrysler Hemi car throughout the Midwest, and they were pretty well known for a lot of things, including the fact that Bob Beatty Sr. could probably keep a cigarette ash longer on the cigarette before it fell off than anybody else, usually while setting valves or adjusting a clutch. Uh, quite a character and, and really entertaining. Uh, the car itself was a very stout performer for the day, and Bernie found this car and restored it. And the before and after part I mentioned, in a little bit we'll see the Beatty and Malloy car, which is a new car partially dedicated to the Beatties and still running an eight fuel dragster. So go for it, Bernie. This is old school. This is the way this car ran. Everything in there is like it was run back then. The original injectors, the original everything. That's the one thing we forgot to say about the Ram Charger car. That car, all the parts in it, are from when we ran that back in the 70s. This one here we're going to take a little time with here. Larry, I know I'm going to butcher your name the first couple of times I say it, so I'm just going to go over there walling it. Wallenegg. This is Larry Wallenegg. Larry's first time here with the car here. Just a gorgeous car. This is a 392 Hemi in there. Larry is the owner and driver. And he said, I wanted to do something special when he got here. And what did he decide you wanted to do? I really wanted to share this opportunity with the young people. So we went over to the uh, Hot Rod Challenge over there and asked if they could have one of their students uh, sit in our car and really enjoy this. I think it's important for us to uh, you know, bring back the, uh, the history of the sport share with the younger people so they can really appreciate it. 
So we have Samantha Bennett sitting in there. She's almost tall enough to look over the, uh, the cowl there, Larry. Are we ready to light it up? Sammy, are you ready? I, I was telling Sammy uh, earlier, I said, this is going to be just a little bit different than your junior dragster. So let's find out. Samantha, that felt a little bit different than a junior. What do you think? <laughs> Maybe just a little more horsepower here. I think John and I are both going to talk about this one, and the reason I, I saved this one for last before we go into Terry's car here. Last year they got here, and Dave got uh, sidetracked for a little bit, and Bob comes up to me and he says, Dave's not here. Would you mind warming the car up for me? And I went, well, no, let me guess. Yeah, yeah, I'll get in there. I'll do that. This has got one of the 417 Donovan motors. Now, Ed Donovan, this is an aluminum copy of the old 392 Hemi, which would be over there in Jim's car. Or Larry's car, excuse me. Uh, this thing here, it, it's again, it's no blower, it's injected nitro. And Bob says, I always bring 100%. So this is 100% nitro methane. John, fill in just a little bit more for us. Well, it also, in addition to being a Donovan block, it has Alan Johnson aluminum heads on it. Uh, the 392 Ed Donovan always felt was a better hemispherical head design than the 426 because the 426, the heads were kind of narrowed and angled to make them fit in the cars that they were made to fit in. Uh, most of these 392s and the 354s before them came out of somebody's Chrysler and most likely it was in a junkyard because it had a hundred thousand miles on it the car was rusted to death but the engines lived on and I guess the main difference between the Larry's car that just fired here and, and earlier Al Birchler's Bob Gregg shoot car these engines are stock factory engines that have been modified and supercharged and fed large doses of nitro but for the most part they ran stock crankshafts in some cases they even ran stock rods these engines were built to last 
So when Ed Donovan came along and designed his 417, he decided that he was going to go with the 392 design. And uh, when Bob fires this car up, I think you'll know why. Bob and Janine Malloy own this car here, and like I say, it's just gorgeous. He ended up putting a wheelie bar on it, he said, last year when Dave stood it up. But where was it? Out west? Oh, yeah. Her 45 horsepower 